NFL Weeks 1 Sunday wide receiver porn says the wide receivers play great this week. Justin Jefferson, 9 receptions, 184 yards, and 2 touchdowns. He might have been the player of the game, to be honest, of all of the wide receivers. A.J. Brown, 10 receptions, 155 yards. In his debut for the Eagles, he had a great game, and Jalen Hurts did as well. Devontae Adams, 10 receptions, 141 yards, and 1 touchdown. Devontae Adams had more yards than all the wide receivers in the receiving core, which is very impressive. I saw a lot of people when he was about to be traded or going to be traded saying that Aaron Rodgers made him and all this other stuff. Aaron Rodgers really didn't have that great performance without Devontae Adams and really didn't play that great. Jamar Chase, 10 receptions, 129 yards, and one touchdown. Very impressive game. And that one touchdown was very, very lethal at the end and really gave him a lot of big boosts at the end. But comment down below your opinion on all these. And who do you think had the best game? If I had to pick who had the best game, it's Justin Jefferson or Devontae. Get your work around. Why wasn't it on him? That's not my call. Anybody watch me play, you know that's what I want. Jared Alexander, after Justin Jefferson had 184 yards against the Packers, which I don't know why they didn't put Jared Alexander on Justin Jefferson. I think that probably would have gave him maybe a lot less yards. He might have had only 120. It may be still the two touchdowns, but it might have been maybe a, a less amount of yards. Ingrid just ran all over the field, and no one could stop him. And he really had one of the plays of the game. What's your opinion on this happening? And it says down below, Packers coaches, which that's who it was. And that's what he's saying. He's saying it's not my fault. I wanted a guard him, but the coaches didn't want me to. They wanted me to guard someone else. Which, if he was on Thielen, I don't really think... I think they probably could have gave another target someone else on Thielen. I think they probably should have focused Jerry Alexander, their best cornerback, on Justin Jefferson, their best wide receiver. And this was a missed opportunity by the Packers. It could end up maybe a different game, even. NFL, Monday Night Football, Broncos versus Seahawks, 8.15 p.m. Eastern. ESPN, this is going to be a great game to watch, but I think the Broncos are going to win this game. I think even by two or three touchdowns, I think Russell Wilson is going to be a very impressive performance. I saw Pete Carroll talking about this game and saying they know how he plays and all this other stuff, which I don't really think that's going to matter because you have Russell Wilson going against Drew Locke or Geno Smith. I think it might be Geno Smith, but it's really not even going to be that close, and the Broncos are going to win by two or three touchdowns. Sure, work around. Von Miller says Rodgers equals LeBron. So he's acting in players' comparisons from the NFL to the NBA. And he said Rodgers equals LeBron. I don't agree with that at all. I think it's Tom Brady equals LeBron. And I feel like most people would say the same thing. They have one of the most active amount of championships in the NBA or NFL right now. And I've been longevity, pretty much the same. Aaron Rodgers could be more like a lot of people were saying, more like Kevin Durant type. I would put him more in that category. Only one or two championships, multiple. Multiple MVPs for Rodgers, only one for Kevin Durant, but pretty similar game styles. And then he said Cooper Cup is like Steph, which very interesting comparison, and I like that one a bit.